Hey y'all. Oh, it's cold out here. Welcome to my channel. Uh, hey, hey, hey. Hey guys, I'm turning the heat on. Cause it's cold. I got my seat warmer on. Cause it's cold and it's my fuck. The seat warmer gonna heat up before the car though. But look here, y'all. Welcome, 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 new subscribers. Welcome. Hi. <laughs> we good over here, y'all. We good over here. Nothing, nothing but truth, honesty, and vulnerability over here. Some real shit. Let me get my tissue because my nose been just a running. But I don't have no other symptoms or nothing else. Welcome to my new subscribers. Woo! <laughs> I be clowning, y'all. I be clowning. But we in the car tonight. So this will be it. I gotta go make some stops before I go in the house. So. <clears throat> but this video is about I'm the, the strong black woman trope. Oh, you got to be strong. And being strong means that you survive some shit. Being, being, being strong. All the things you go through as a black woman makes you who you are. Why? Because somebody tell me why. Why do, <clears throat> why do struggle and strife and putting up with shit equates to now you being strong and that makes you the person you are today? I can't stand that shit. Who said like, why black women gotta be strong? You don't be hearing no other culture tell their women that you gotta go through a whole bunch of shit and be strong, queen. Be strong, queen. Keep on putting up with everybody's shit and continue to be strong because that's what, who, that's what makes you who you are, being a strong black woman. I'm tired of being a strong black woman. Why is, why is that, why does that equate to, um, I should have got on the highway. I don't, don't want to do no highway drive. I don't like, y'all know I don't like driving and I don't like driving on the highway because it speeds too fast. But anyway. Why does have why did you have to go through a whole bunch of bullshit in life and 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 that's like a badge of honor or something. Like when I talk to men and, and we get to know each other and we talking about what you know what who went through, what this went through and this and that and all this shit I went through, they like, oh, that makes you strong. That makes you who you are. Why though? Like what the f no it, it makes me angry inside. It makes me very fucking angry is what it does. And y'all be sitting up there wondering why black women mad all the motherfucking time be mad all the motherfucking time because we got to deal with bullshit all the motherfucking time and then y'all want us to be happy all the motherfucking time and not give y'all no problems all the motherfucking time like i like it's 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 it's, it's it really boggles my mind how black men okay think that they supposed to get a perfect woman with no issues no problems no attitude nothing they want us to be <clears throat> and don't be spiritual oh my god y'all already know when i was on my spiritual journey heavy like that people think that you can't i can't curse because i'm spiritual i can't have an attitude because i'm spiritual oh i can't i can't do nothing because i'm fucking spiritual i gotta just honor the whoever's and, and and speak nice and kind all the fucking time and that's not reality black men black man said oh i'm tired of dealing with women who's been hurt and shit before who don't know how to let go of the past and shit how is the fuck is she supposed to let go of the past when she keep getting the same motherfucking nigga over and over and over and over and over again the same motherfucking nigga over and over and over again how is things supposed to be different 
how is black women supposed to change in the eyes of black men when y'all not doing nothing to change on a grand scale nobody's talking about the 0.5% of y'all who fucking drinking alkaline water and, 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 and uh 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 <clears throat> Drinking juices and berries and shit every day and and sea moss. No, and nobody talking about y'all. Y'all like the point five percent. We talking about the majority. The majority of you are not. You don't even take care of yourself. You don't even go to the goddamn doctors. I have met more than my fair share of men. And when I ask them when the last time they've been to the motherfucking doctors, nigga can't even answer the question. Can't even answer the motherfucking question. Nigga can't say, oh, it was yesterday, it was two days ago, it was last week, it was last month, it was three months ago. Guess what? I know when the last time I've been to the doctors. I can give you my papers from my STD checks every fucking year. Or six, well, now they change it to a year, but it used to be, um, and you can go every six months. I, like, I... I'm one of the most clean K. No nigga that has sex with me been in, been in my comments. If y'all watching this and say I burnt them, I gave them anything, my pussy was foul, they can't say none of that about me. But I can tell you a couple niggas who wouldn't wash their ass when I came over their house. I can tell you a couple niggas that wouldn't even put no motherfucking deodorant on. Nigga, you wouldn't even wash your ass. You ain't even got no motherfucking clean clothes to wear. You smelling like dirty clothes, dirty socks. You, you smell like a fucking brewery, a pack of fugs, a pack of whatever the fuck you smoking on. You smell like that. You don't have no cooth. This is what I'm saying, but y'all want all of this from women, though. And y'all expect that women is not supposed to be hurt. Let me tell y'all something. The difference between motherfucking women and men is that, 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 that there will always be a woman willing to put up with a man's bullshit. I'm talking about toxic bullshit. There will always be a woman. First of all, it's more of us than it is of y'all. So there will always be a woman for every man that exists. There is a woman. There will always be a woman who will have sympathy towards you and put up with your bullshit. There will always be a woman who will fucking build her man up to who the fuck she want him to be or where he should be. There will always be a woman who will deal with the low down dirty dog shit that y'all niggas do and y'all niggas have uh, and, and, and uh uh, uh, the shit that they deal with, the shit that we put up with, there will always, let me say it again, let me get closer, cause it's a red light, I'm trying to light on, there will always be a woman for a man, what there won't be, is there will not always be a man for every woman that exists in the world, that's what it won't be, that's what it won't be, because men do not, for the most part, nobody talking about y'all point five motherfuckers. Nobody talking about y'all. But there will always be a man who will say, no, I'm not dealing with that shit. I got to go. No, I think your attitude. I know uh, 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 you're too strong for me. No, you've been through too much for me. No, you, uh, 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 your experiences is just, you, you just got to, it will always be a man saying that shit about a woman. But there will, there will be women who will deal with men bullshit all of it all that it entails there will be a woman to deal with that shit because women have more kind hearts than men do we will put up with shit more shit than y'all will even if we see the fucking red flags we will still deal with your shit and uplift you out of your depression out of living in your mother's basement out of living with a roommate or whoever, a bunch of niggas in the house, at home with your mom or your daddy, in that one room shack, we will always be the ones to uplift y'all out of y'all motherfucking situations. That's why every billionaire or, or wealthy millionaire who has who really has attained his riches always was married or had a long time girlfriend. Every millionaire, every president, every politician, almost 99% of these people 
had a woman in their life because they know what a woman's energy does that's why they don't even want the president in the White House unless he's fucking married. You have to be married to be the president. You can't be a single fucking president out here just slinging dick every fucking way. Like, no. Most politicians are fucking married. Most wealthy people are married. Because the woman brings that motherfucking uplifting ass energy that y'all men do not fucking bring. Y'all drain the fuck out of us. Drain our energy, drain our soul, drain our existence. You will steal from us. I had a man, I had a man, I was sending the man poems I was writing to him. This nigga was stealing my fucking poetry and told me that I should be lucky that he gave me something to write about. That's what I'm saying. These fucking people, these, some of these men, some of these men, once again, some of you men, will do this, this bullshit to women and not give two fucks. One of my, one of my classmates just posted, one somebody I went to school with back in high school, Nice girl, down to earth girl. You feel me? Got love bomb, cause that's what all these niggas know how to do was love bomb and sling dick. Got love bomb. She fell for it, okay. And he ended up being a piece of shit with like multiple children in the teens, okay? This nigga got 10, 13, 15 kids. And he ugly as shit. This nigga ugly. Like, not that they mean any fucking thing, but it just shows you how many women there are, and I'm, I'm one of them, how many women there are that exist in the world who grew up without their fucking fathers. Because I feel like women who grew up without their fucking fathers, without that fatherly love, is the ones that's out here suffering. What is done upon, uh, what is it, what is, what is the, the fake ass Bible verse? The sins against the father falls to the child or some shit like that. Y'all know what I'm talking about, y'all Bible people. Y'all know what I'm talking about. All right, y'all. I got to go get, get some papers. I'll be, I'll be back. Hold on. Hold, hold on, y'all. All right, y'all. I'm back. I had to get some gas and some papers and stuff. And so, what the fuck? What's this shit in the street? Sorry, y'all. The people do dumb shit. Like, why is this in the street, bruh? Alright, somebody TV and shit. It's ghetto. It's ghetto. Anyway, so yeah, what was I talking about? Yeah, being so strong. I'm so strong. I'm so strong, black woman. I'm so strong, silly. Silly, I'm so strong. All I've been through makes me so goddamn strong. Not angry. I'm, I, I just really like the older generation, Gen X and Boomers, really have this thing like, oh, the more you go through, the better the, <laughs> the better you are as a person. That makes you strong because you've been through so much and you made it. That made you strong. I wonder is the is the people over in um Ukraine and shit. I wonder is they strong for surviving a war that they didn't even ask for. Is that strong? That make you strong over there over there trying to survive getting bombs and shit thrown at you and you trying to survive like that's all motherfuckers really trying to do is survive and some people's survival is way worse than others some people went through so much bullshit way more bullshit than others and that's all i'm saying why couldn't i have been that other why some of us couldn't have been the other why do you have to go through shit to make you a better person or to make you strong. Why? 
And then black men will be like, why are black women so angry? Because we so strong. That's why we angry. Because y'all make us be so motherfucking strong all the time. We got to be strong all the time. We can't, we can't, we can't be, uh, we can't be what so-called weak or, or we can't live in our feminine. We got to be strong all the time. Strong for the black man and the black man struggle. We got to be strong and hold them down and be strong. All of this time, who the fuck is holding us down? Why, why we out here being strong as fuck? Nobody is holding us down. Ain't no nigga holding us down. We, other cultures of people do not, their women do not get dragged the way that ours do by black men. There are more black men channels spewing hate towards black women. That's why I told y'all in my last video that fucking Bible came from a patriarchal uh, society of men who hate women. How the fuck you wouldn't even be here if a woman ain't push you out her motherfucking vagina. But though we gotta be strong. Push y'all big head, hard head asses out our motherfucking vaginas. And you still will hate us. There is no protection for us. If a motherfucker, if I'm on the side of the road and my motherfucker car broke down, the only reason why a nigga will stop for me because I'm pretty and I'm thick. That's it. He ain't stopping for me because I, uh, because he want to help me because he just strong and he just want to be there for me. No, he want to fuck. Because he's going to try to holler at me afterwards. He's not just doing a good deed to do a good deed. Because those men died in 1995. Like I said before. Like when chivalry died in 95. Like did ass. So anyway y'all. It's a long ass video. So I'm going to get off of here. Because I'm home. And it's time for me to wind down. Because I need to open the store tomorrow. And yeah. That's where we at with it. Strong black queen. Black power. I'm out.